All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the um, MS Office uh, Excel for Android. And I'm going to talk about uh, integrations that is uh, available in this app and uh, you know, what are the capabilities. Uh, just a brief overview of that as well. Now, uh, as you can see, this app is running in a landscape mode, um, you know, like a tablet, uh, but you can change this and uh, uh, in the mobile view it is going to be um, uh, a bit smaller but for the sake of this demo I'm going to show you in a bigger landscape so we're just going to sign into the service here and type in uh, my uh, username and password so any uh, Microsoft account uh, should work with this it will allow you to log in however if you want to share uh, or save something you need an office 365 account it could be a standard account it could be an enterprise account but it has to be an office 365 subscription otherwise you won't be able to use it so just logged into the system just wait for it Okay, now once this logs in, and if I try to uh, click on any one of these items, it is going to give me an a prompt that you need to log in with an account which has got a valid Office 365 account. So I'm just waiting for that to uh, to appear. Okay, so it's uh, configuring Office, fetching the files from the cloud. So you can see that if I click on upgrade, now it is going to look for a Office 365 subscription. Now in this case, I'm going to use an existing subscription uh, with which I have an Office 365. So here we go. It's done. Um, if I go here in this section, and uh, try to select a different location. Now here are the integration option that is available, right? So I have uh, the personal account and then if I click on add, uh, add a place, uh, you could add a office um, a business account. So in this case, I'm just going to uh, put in the uh, account with which I have a enterprise plan for Office 365. So that is what I'm going to put in here. Just going to sign in. It's going to fetch the files for me. And then uh, you can see that the SharePoint site associated with this enterprise account is also showing up this is the SharePoint library and if I go to the documents uh, library here it is going to fetch me those Excel worksheets uh, that is available okay so it's just gonna add a few more uh, I'm gonna use Dropbox in this case and click on allow So once you use the username and password and allow, uh, you have Dropbox as well, right? So this is it. So you can add a SharePoint account as well. Let me see this. Select this. So I can uh, pretty much select anywhere I want in order to save this, right? Now let's, uh, yeah, so this is automatic in terms of how it gets uh, the data. So let's go ahead and uh, do a quick uh, exercise, right? So just gonna use our expense sheet. So I'm gonna say source, then I'm gonna say income 
and expenses. Source one, maybe a website. Income of about like five thousand. An expense of about nine hundred. Maybe some hosting cost or something like that. And then we can put, let's say, uh, add. So add income of about five hundred and expense of about uh, maybe some ninety. Maybe as a paid, uh, paid ads or something like that. Affiliate income. Let's say for example, I have 400. This is nil. And then maybe the web hosting cost zero. And this is about 700, right? Now let's say total. And then you can just simply just do you have to tab on this and then you can just do a summation of that and highlight this and do a summation on that and then total income would be you know b7 this is equals to b7 minus c7 these are the cells Oh, I think this is going to be B6 minus C6. There you go. And then what you can do is uh, you can uh, just do some basic formatting. So if you want to change the heading, just highlight this. And let's say, for example, if you want to make it look different and some some formatting here and uh, you can also select the numbers here and auto detect currency because we know this is a currency right so we got currency information here right and then if you highlight this and if you go to insert menu and then recommend a chart it is going to show you a chart automatically and which you can put in here right and this is a can rename this as income versus expense report right so this is done and uh, you also have some um, uh, options for example formulas like financial um, functions calculators mathematical scientific lookups like VLOOKUPs and everything all the good stuff is here right so once I want to go ahead and share this you can just simply do a save as and then maybe save it on the Dropbox and expense example I'll save this on my Dropbox site so that's it and then if I want to go ahead and open up my Dropbox site I should be able to see the expense report here and that's it it will uh, by default download this but if you have I uh, would have saved this on, uh, let's say, uh, on a OneDrive, then it would have been opened within the browser itself. So that's about it uh, with this example. And uh, I hope uh, 
you liked it. Thanks. Cheers.